what's up everybody I hope you're doing well this week I'm on a working vacation and so I thought it would be interesting to take you along for a day of working vacation so it is currently 6 50 a.m. on Wednesday October 7th and we are in sunny San Diego and my daughter is awake uh, I think I'm gonna voice over a lot of whatever happens next because Mornings are full. Yeah. All right, so let's kick off our day with some decaf coffee. Yep, you heard me, decaf. And hey, puppy girl's gotta go to the bathroom, so it's time to let her out. She does like taking her sweet time out there, so in the meantime, let's go ahead and check out this amazing oceanfront view. Oh, yeah, gotta make sure my daughter doesn't get hurt or in trouble from anything I forgot to baby-proof from the night before. Whoopsies. Yep, still hasn't gone to the bathroom yet. Hurry up, pups. In the meantime, I'll do some dishes left over from the night before. You'll notice that I spend a large percentage of my daughter's waking hours either doing dishes, cooking food, or feeding my daughter. So let's kick things off with her first meal of the day. She's gonna have some crackers. So good. Get those crackers, girl. All right, time to feed the dog, the other small creature of my household who needs me to feed her. There she goes. Get it, girl. Oh, and time for the strange concoction that I mix together and feed to my daughter. It keeps her alive, so it is a good thing. There you go, my friend. Too bad she doesn't know how to feed it to herself. Yeah, it's okay. All right, time for some playtime. And while she plays, it's time for mama to have some coffee. Indeed, life is better in flip-flops. So usually for about 30 minutes or an hour, my daughter will play independently and I'll enjoy my coffee. I'll just keep an eye on her. And of course, we will take breaks to play together as well. <laughs> that is just too cute. Oh, look at that, time for some more dishes. Good job, Mama. And we're gonna play together outside a little more. Uh, she started seeming a little hungry, so my husband made some eggs and down the hatch. Okay, she's kind of over the eggs, but still hungry. Here we go. Living my best mom life. Oh dear. All right, nice one, mama. We can still redeem ourselves. Just make some good oatmeal from what's left. Yet, yeah, go ahead and sweep that goodness off the floor. Oh, and baby girl still eating food. Ah uh, yes, time for the universal symbol of I am done. Understood, my friend. But so be the dog reaps the benefits. All right, looks like you redeemed yourself with some good oatmeal, mama. Ready for nappies? <sighs> it is now 8.40, uh, so it's basically been about two hours since my daughter first woke up. And at this point, I just put her down for a nap. She's gonna roll around for a bit and hopefully sleep for close to two hours. I'm gonna clean up the new dishes that we just made, tidy up our little mess from this morning and shower, and then I'll see you in a bit. I am all ready to go except my hair because this is day four natural curly hair and I never know what to do with it. So I'll figure that out later on. This place has every single amenity you could ever want, but it doesn't have bowls. So here's how we're doing that. What I'll do from now until whenever my daughter wakes up is I'm gonna catch up on my emails and then I'm gonna work on whatever 
private practice skills work tasks I have and there's always a longer list than I can actually get to with the time I have so I just plug away on the list that I have. For today, the next agenda item for private practice skills is I am going to create an additional video for my sales page on my new e-course. I don't think I'm gonna finish that today during this nap time, but I'm gonna get started on that. So let's see how this goes. All right, so my daughter is just waking up. I made it about halfway through finishing editing that video that I mentioned I was working on, so I'll have to get back to it tomorrow. So right now it's about 10.15 in the morning. Chances are that she's not gonna go back to sleep again until her final bedtime, which is at 5 p.m. That's just when her body wants to go to sleep. I it is what it is. So typically at this point, I close down work until my daughter's bedtime. And while my husband is working in the other bedroom, my daughter and I, plus or minus my dog, we like to go on an adventure every single day. And so we're just gonna be in vacation mode together until her bedtime, after which I will start working again. All right, let's go on an adventure. particular goal or destination in mind today. I just wanted to come here and walk around pretty much, so that's what we're going to do. It's about 12.20. It's been around an hour since my daughter last ate and she's ready to eat again. It is now one o'clock. My daughter just finished snack because she decided she wanted to eat basically everything I packed as far as snacks today. So if she gets hungry again, I'll have to go in search of other food. So, um, oh yeah, change of plans. You know, sometimes you make plans like I'm gonna be in Old Town for the rest of the day and, and I'm like, I think I'm good. Anyway, so I think maybe I'll get a cold drink through some form of drive through and head back and just hang out at our beautiful Airbnb and you can play. Let's go back. Hey, come in the car, baby. Baby. Oh, she is so over it. She's over it and we're going. She's over it and we're going. Guess where mama's going. It's been a while since I've been to a Starbucks in a video. It's time, everybody. You know, I suspect that my daughter is actually tired and today will be a rare two nap day. Hi, um, may I have a grande iced decaf mocha? Oh, Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, I made it through the Starbucks drive through there. It's the best. All right, now to get back. This Starbucks is like halfway on the way back, so I probably should go on that way. Oh well, I'm gonna try taking the scenic route and see how she does with it. naps are the best. Okay, I think I'm gonna sit outside on our glorious patio and pick up where I left off on my sales page video that I was working on this morning. Sit 
So uh, an hour and a half later, I finished that video, uploaded it, responded to some messages. It's 4.30 now and I checked the baby monitor to find that my daughter was awake just making zero noise. I have no idea how long she was awake for. It's uh, just about 5.30. My daughter just went down for bedtime for real. It was only about 45 minutes before she started rubbing her eyes. So we just had some time to, for her to eat dinner and play. And um, my husband is still working. I assume something important is going on. He's um, on the phone in the other room. So I'm gonna just tidy up and hopefully I'll get a chance to uh, eat dinner with my husband before I see clients starting at seven. Pepper's finished work right after I last talked to you, and now we're waiting for our DoorDash. So I'm gonna just read my book out here for a bit. Is that not the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen? We're gonna watch the debate now. Welcome to my teletherapy setup while we're out of town. Oh, I wish my hair looked a little more professional for clients, but vacation hair. All right, well, it is about 6.45 p.m. My husband is still watching the debate out there, but I've got clients at 7 and 8 p.m., just two today. And so I'm all set up to meet with them. I'm looking forward to it. I really enjoy seeing clients while I'm out of town. I think it just kind of keeps me grounded in, it just keeps me grounded. I think I'm gonna make a separate video to share my little makeshift vacation mode teletherapy setup uh, because this video is probably really long already as it is. So maybe watch for that down the road. But for now, I'm just gonna hop into meeting with my clients and I will check in with you after 9 p.m. I did it, it's nine o'clock. I love my job so much and literally, like you can go to the beach all day long and then still see your clients. Ugh, we're so privileged, such a lovely job. At this point, I am probably gonna go say hi to my husband, ask how the rest of the debate went, cause you know, I want to stay what's up on on the haps I don't I don't know what I'm saying we'll probably chat for 15 minutes or half an hour and then I'm gonna get back into some more work I'm not sure if this was a coherent I don't really know how to do vlogs but I'm trying so let me know what you think of this video in the comments below and if there's anything in particular you want to see more of you have questions about and be there will just be another video about it in the future and before logging off a thank you to therapynotes.com for sponsoring this video if you're interested in doing the working travel thing while you're in private practice therapy notes makes it super easy to stay connected with your clients you can stay on top of all of your scheduling notes and billing and meet with your clients remotely via their telehealth platform so you don't have to worry about how to make sure you're on top of all of your tasks while you're away and if you click the link in the description of this video you can get two months to try therapy notes for free with no commitment so I hope you enjoy that. I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know what your experience has been like working and traveling in private practice in the comments below. And until next time, from one therapist to another, I wish you well. What do you think? Oh, okay. You gonna mess up mama's hair? Uh-oh. I never win. <laughs> <laughs>